Welcome to another Warmer Fantasy Battle Rap. I've got Kenny here with some Tomb Kings to battle my Lizardmen on the same team I played last time because I played the game. So let's go over my Lizardmen real quick. We have three Croxagore, you know, the Source Temple Guard, my Source Warrior, Skink Skinks, Ancient Stegatron, two Salamanders, and two Skink Priests with the Cos... I want to call it Cosmic Cube. The uh, Cube of Darkness, the Dispel Scroll, my standard uh, Slan with a bunch of spells, level one spells, Three dice channel, reroll the first failed miscast, save a die, you know all that stuff. And way over in this corner, my chameleon skink hiding. And Kenny, we're getting we're giving Kenny a few extra points because while the Toon King book is nice, uh, written fluff wise and everything, everything's a bit too expensive. So the old ETC gave him a few extra points. So we're gonna do so in this game to balance out a little bit. So what do we have here? Let's start on this side of the table. All right, we just have some skeleton warriors with full command, shields. Uh, chariots, <laughs> Setra the Imperishable. Yep. He's using the signature spell. Uh, Screaming Skull Catapult with Skulls yep. of the Foe. There you go. Uh, Tomb Guard, Lich Priest, uh, BSB. Magic items are the magic standard they can take with the oh, bound fair spell. Enough. Yep, fair enough. Uh, he got Fate of Buna and the signature spell for death. Casket of Souls, uh, Hyra Titan, Archers with two out of three command. Champion and Banner, and a Camry Wars Sphinx with Venom Tail and Fiery Breath. Nice, there we go. We have Tomb Kingers, Lizardman. Uh, Kenny finished the playing first. You'll get plus one to roll to see who goes first. I roll a six. Well, I don't. I guess I'll go first. No charges for me. So we're just going to do that. We're going to take the other Skinks and go this way. We don't want to get charged. We're going to go farther back. And these skinks are gonna scoot up here. Now we are gonna be a little more aggressive than I typically am. And we're gonna move things on forward. Uh, there you guys are gonna go up there full 12. <sighs> Maybe a little less, because there's a big monster coming. Don't want them getting charged quite yet, but they will go all the way. Well, just like that, we went far forward, though technically we didn't point the line, so we probably got a lot farther forward if we weren't too cowardly. So let's do the Winds of Magic. I rolled a seven. Kenny, how many channels do you get? Two. Two on sixes? No. Nope, I get three on fives from him. Get me one more die, and then I have two skin priests. Getting me nothing extra. The first spell we're going to throw out is a fireball. It's going to be a level two. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to roll spells. Um, for him and him, which is right now. Uh, this guy here is light, uh, sorry, heavens. And he's going to take the signature. And this one here is beast. And we're also going to swap that to the signature. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no, actually, that's going to be swap for signature as well. Okay, so level two of beasts. We're going to use three dice. We're going to throw a fire... Level two fireball, we're gonna use three dice onto the casket, is what I'm trying to say. Oh goodness, we got it though. I'm literally just getting it. 10. Kennedy's letting that one go, and we're gonna get five hits. Right, this is where we spike the sixes. Oh, two wounds. Okay, we're really lucky there. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two dice and put Shem's Burning Gaze on it next. Uh, so they go off, it'll be another D6 strength 4. Oh, actually, you're undead. It'll be 2D6 strength 4. Same thing, basically. This time I only rolled a 10 again, actually. <laughs> uh, then I will 3 dice to spell it. 3 dice to spell that That's one? That's my Lich Priest. And 6, 17. I oh, got, yeah, you got it. You got it. I got yeah, 10. What am I saying? You got to add your plus 4, because your Lich Priest is level nope. 4. Nope. 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 <gasps> And he stops it just with a level two. All right, last thing. We're going to throw three. How many do you got left? One. Hmm. Maybe let's get some greedy here. Or let's get some greedy. We're going to two dice Melkoth's Mystify My Asthma onto the Chariot Squad. And we're just going to do a regular. We're just going to lower their movement. We got that with a good number. I don't think you can stop that. I'll so, just roll it. Okay. All right, one die left. 
All right, my last die, I'm just gonna put uh, Earth Blood onto my Temple Guard. Nope, I failed. Shooting time. We're gonna have this guy shoot first into the Necro Sphinx. It's gonna be that many shots. Four, five, six, seven, eight shots. It is not like you do anything. We need sevens to hit. So sixes on a four plus will actually hit. And sixes to wound you can't be poisoned. Nope, no wound. We'll now have the Chameleon Sphinx go ahead and fire at it. Uh, hitting on fives, so they're pretty good shots. Sixes are poison. We have that many wounds. And then we take these fives, we pick up all five of them, and we do actual wounds on sixes. So we have a total of five wounds on that Necro Sphinx. And five save. Ooh, taking five wounds. Wait, does it only have five? Yeah. Wow! Wow, this is one of the things. Um, the casket has toughness 10, no real save. This thing has toughness 8, no real save. They expect the toughness to keep them alive in a game that 6 is always wound. Okay, there goes the Necro 6. But they're all undead, so it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. On to Tomb King's turn 1. Kenny's got no charges to declare. So, just time to do that. Kenny is going to move his chariots. They're going to move. We're going to pivot. And go get out of the way. They gotta do a swift reform real quick first. Yeah, they pass. So that's all good. Correction, he didn't have to roll that. He wheeled. But it's all good. And the cherries move up there. Well, technically fast, but walkably so it's slow eight inches. Here come the Tomb King. Four inches. <laughs> and these guys, what are they gonna do? They always hit on fives, right? So they can move. Yeah. I. I guess I'll combat reform. So reform, roll 2d6, and you can do whatever you want with them. <laughs> Turning to face, and I just remember something. Somebody commented on it, this guy couldn't have shot anyway, he marched. I wasn't even thinking. And finally the hero titan. Oh, look at him go. He goes farther than that, doesn't he go like six? That's fair, all right, keep him back. <laughs> all right, wins of magic time. 2d6. Rolling a 10, you got some channels on the 6? Uh, yep. One! So you got 11 dice, I have 6 so far, I have 2 channels on a 6, and 3 out of 5. I get 2 extra. And then Kenny gets D3 extra dice, he gets 1 extra die because he's at max 12 to my 8. And I should shut down the first, first turn because I have a good amount of dice and 2 scrolls, but we'll see what Kenny can pull off. I'm gonna go with a three dice um, Lore of Nekrahara signature spell. Actually, I'm gonna four dice it. Four dice this one? You go for the boosted version? Yes. And. Ooh, it's good numbers. Are yes. uh, you showing a 17, 18? Ouch. Uh, you know what? I can't risk throwing my dice at that. Because the. Uh, I'm gonna use the Cube of Darkness, and here's the risky thing it's basically a dispel scroll on a 2. Plus. Okay. Oh good. You got it. We stopped that. We shut that down, but that item is now gone. I rolled one for that way too many times. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Spirit Leech onto my Stegatron. How many dice you gonna use? I'm gonna use two. Two? So you roll a five, you add your two to a seven, and you add D3. I need to show a five or six. No. No. That's a fail. That's lucky too, because Steve did something stupid. About an inch and a half out of range for my leadership ten. And <sighs> six dice to cast. Okay. Oh! Well, I think you're getting that. Okay, well, we're going to save a die, and then we're going to try to beat that on... You have throw six dice there? Try to beat that on seven dice? Yeah, we stopped that. Oh, Kenny! Ooh. Ooh, that's good. It's an innate bound spell, so miscasting is not a problem. Nothing bad happens with the miscast, and I can't remember what it does, but it is it my whole army? No, it, I pick a unit. Oh, I pick a unit, okay. It's and just, then if it's, you fail, it chains, and then it just oh, keeps that's chaining right. to somebody it it's hasn't hit. Terrifying. Terrifying spell. Okay, um, shoot a clock. Screaming Skull Calipult looking to assassinate Mistegatron. Go ahead and roll that, sir. Oh, uh, it's gonna go forward six. Landing right there. And it's a miss. Uh, Archer's over here. Yep. Ten shots coming out my skanks, always hitting on fives. Oh, one, two, three. Uh, wounding on threes. One, two. Yeah, six are safe. Ooh, you got one. No. I mean, no panicking for them.
And the archers are gonna fire up my Crocs and Gore. Buys and buys. Three for the start. And one. And it goes through. Down to three. Well, not a whole lot from the Tomb Kings this turn, so we're going to my turn two. No charge to declare, but I think we're gonna march right into the chariots. Okay, everybody, before you tell me I'm doing something stupid, hear me out, here's my plan. I actually am gonna charge. So I was either gonna march these guys forward, let them get charged, and guarantee they die. Um, uh, I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, I'm doing it anyway. I'm charging them. Oh, yeah, the old, you're undead. All right, Kenny told me some stuff. He talked me out of it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. All right, we're just gonna have to throw the crop sewer away. They're gonna march on forward. And we're gonna actually pivot at this angle. I wanna keep it going that way. We wanna fight. We wanna fight. Uh, I wonder if I should try to roast the guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do a swift free form, and we can. I'm just going to pivot like this, and then move like this. Let's put everybody back into range. Uh, this Slamander is going to go 12. These skinks are going to wait and get ready. And these skinks, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have this cube anymore. And a march block. Ah, uh, we are a march block. Hmm. All right, we'll only go a little bit. What are you here? I'm not gonna get us in the short range, but oh well. Actually, we might as well stay an inch away and follow the rules. Winds of magic. Only four dice for me. A channel. Get two more, I have one more, and then two more and a six. Hey, I'm gonna get five dice to your three, but you have some channels. Nothing extra. Actually, uh, the die I saved on a two plus as my pool. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is level two fireball onto the casket once again, because it's terrifying. Uh, we get it. Kenny's gonna try to stop it with three dice, and he does. Well, we're gonna have two dice Shem's burning gaze into him. We get that. It'll be 2d6. I can't stop it. Can't stop that one. 2d6 hits because you're undead. Only five. Single six to put that, that uh, casket down for good. And it is still alive. And my last good die, time. we are going to cast. No, nothing interesting. We're just going to do Earth Blood. We get it with a nine total. Sure. You can stop that. Yep. Yeah. So we are Earth Blooded. Yeah, regeneration. Let's move on to shooting. Sphinx, blow pipes into the casket of souls. Hit on threes normally, fours because we moved, fives because we're long range, and sixes for double tap. You're dead. <laughs> oh no, we have six of armor saves on my god, don't you? Can you make that many six of armor saves? It's no, seven? It's not five up. And oh yeah, it's so close. <laughs> but dead. He'll go for the hero titan. Uh, moved a long range and double tap. It's gonna be sevens. We might as well try. Hitting on sixes that turn into fours will be hits. We have two hits and sixes to wound. Nothing. And that's it. Oh no, we were gonna try to roast some people. And we're gonna try to throw one flame. Oh, that's actually really, really perfect. Getting the perfect 13 hits. Wounding on threes, strength four, so three, six, nine, 12 dead. Wow, wow, wow. I got lucky there. Oh, <laughs> well, that went well. You have any charges to declare? Oh, yeah. I, I hold. I can just flee. You gonna do it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna flee. Yeah, I'm going to flee. I just feel... I'm going to flee. 11 inches. Tomb Guard going after the source. I'm going to hold. Anybody else? Yeah, those five archers. <laughs> five experience. brave archers. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold. All right. And, uh... Okay, you roll this one first. So, fast chariots. Yep. 
No. Oh no, five plus eight, maybe, maybe. 14 inches. He needed a 15, he needed one more. He needed to show a seven. Roll this charge. That's definitely it, you rolled a box car. <laughs> so these guys were my front, but now they're all dead, so now they're on my flank, you can't fail. Gunk. Hero Titan wants to move. He's just gonna go this way. Whoop. And they might as well move their four. Whoop. I should do a swift reform. Uh, yeah, they passed. And then, yep, there you go. <laughs> Wins the magic. Oh, you have back dice. You have 12. Um, I got six plus uh, nope, one. 11. You have D3, don't you, from here? Oh, the soul oh gives gosh. it to you. All right, might just try the channel then. Uh, I, I do have 12. <laughs> I have seven now, and I have two more channels on a six. Nope, I got my seven, though. Four dicing his movement spell. The signature from spell. Cetera, and you. No. No? How much do you need? 16. Wow. He uh, rolled a 15. Six dicing spirit leech from the guy in combat here. The big spirit leech on. Uh, I don't think he's a big one. Stegadon. Stegatron? Oh, yeah, that's true. I don't. Yeah, yeah it doesn't really matter. You're throwing you're six dice anyway. Let's do it. Wow, can he? Hmm. Okay. Any other dice left? Ten. I have two. All right. I'm okay with failing to deny this. I wasn't let it go. But I might as well try with four dice. I'm gonna try with four dice. Oh goodness, I got it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Two dice thing, fate of Buna. I need to show an eleven. Show an eleven? No. No. Okay. Well, we'll save a die. Shooting time. Now uh, we're gonna screaming skull catapult into the stegodon, I guess. Don't that stegodon source. All right, look for that direct hit or a low number. That's direct hit. You're wounding on a two. That grove armor save, D6 damage. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> okay, we're down to four. We're still alive. <laughs> but he's got his skulls of the foes. I think a panic test. At negative one. We passed. Ah, oh, darn. <laughs> we're gonna do combat over here. I'll do my fear test real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might be scared. I'm scared. Okay, you might as well hit me first. Uh, oh, no, I'm faster than you. Yeah, you're way faster. I got a hit. Uh, I don't have a wound. Three's uh, to hit me. Six attacks. Uh, three hits, and three's to wound me. Two. I fell both my saves. All right, you did two wounds. You had charged in my flank with the banner. Um, double ones to stay. <laughs> you got it. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna do a reform, but this will be a double ones. Nope, I'll stay in that. I'll stay in that. <gasps> wow, this is the day of luck. I I'm not earning anything that's happening. Okay, um, this fight, I owe you a fear test. You good? I pass. Starting with the captain. Uh, the, the Tomb Herald. Tomb Herald. He's got three attacks. Okay. Weapon skill four. Two hits. What's his strength? Four. What is killing blow go? Is six is the wound, right? Yeah. Okay. He's strength four. Four is the wound. Nothing. Fair mm. ones. You want to do the priest separate? Uh, he goes after everyone else anyway. I might as well do now. It makes a difference. You're, you're all going before me. That's true. He's got one attack. The page turn. Fours and five. One attack. Yeah. Hit. No. Nope. And nine attacks from the tomb guard themselves. Hitting on three, so you want to go six or seven or something like that? Seven. Seven? Because nice. of Cetra. Uh, the leaves. Oh, the leaves He, uh... Hey, Kevin, if you're watching this bat rep, you're texting me right now while I'm trying to record this. Kevin. <laughs> okay, no, uh, hitting all fours. We both thought the tomb herald is a prince, and he's not. Can you just check that? So hitting all fours and the threes. Oh, all right, three outrage dead because killing blow. And your strength four, right? And one more at minus one save. I so think they might be strength three. They're strength four. Yeah. Oh, they're eating four. Yeah. I made that one save, but three of them do die. Six smalls going after that guy right there. 
And then three, six, nine, you're gonna go after, oh no, that, that's not possible. Um, so six will go after the Tomb Prince and the rest after the unit. So Herald. let's do, oh sorry, Herald. Let's do the Herald, Predatory Fighter. We have two hits and then Predatory Fighter. And then there's the four models in behind them with their spears. And we're wounding him on, what's his toughness? Give me fours. So we've got three wounds on him. White armor. Uh, light armor, that's it. So don't save. Actually, I'm sure oh. four. Yeah. Oh, All right, three wounds on him. Is he dead? Yeah. Okay, got him. And then we'll go after the priestly character. The models in the front, predatory fighter, hitting on fours. And then the four models in behind. Nice. Toughness on that guy? Three. Threes to wound. Two wounds on him. He's dead. Yeah. That kills him. And I lose. Yeah, most likely. Actually, we got regen on all these models, so let's do the two on the hero fin. Nope. Still dead. And then three on that model, the, the tomb herald. No, nope. didn't matter. All right, into the unit. Predatory fighter hitting on fours, and then we have four models in behind because of spears, and then uh, three predatory fighter attacks because we're all together on fours. And then we're wounding on fours. We have three at minus one. Six of save, and six of regen. Uh, nope, he's dead. Same initiative. Ooh. Yeah. No. No, two die. Okay, Kenny killed three models. He charged with a banner, and he still has two ranks. I've got three ranks and a banner. I've killed a Tomb Herald, three models in the unit, and the... Um, Hero Fint, so I win by five. Leadership tank of the Setcha. Ooh, four crumble. And then in the phase. Three because they have a banner. Three because of the banner, fair enough. And in the phase, things start crumbling because of the banner, or because of the Hero yep. Fint being dead. Uh, How does it work? Well, it's a, a leadership test, and for every point I fail by. Fair enough. This one right here, leadership 10. Leadership 10 for them. They're good. These leadership over here. seven for them. One, one leaves, uh, but they suffer one less wound for a banner. Nice. Uh, that guy. He's good. Catapult. Good. That unit. Good. Okay. He's leadership 10. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And Cetra. He's fine. All right, it's time to charge. Stegatron is going after this unit here to knock that up, and that's pretty much all my charges. So in he goes. Huh. We'll, oh, and then we close that door. Oh, reason, there's poking models. I'm not worried about this stuff. We gotta rally them, which they do. Let's stand there. These skinks let's get out of the way so I can go, whoop. Oh, get these out of the way, they don't ever count. Just walk up to there. Let's do this magic phase. I got max dice on by the trailing. Um, you have a channel. Hey, seven dice. We're gonna wild form these guys right here. We got that. Okay with that one? Yeah, sure. They are wild formed. We are going to then um, ice shard blizzard. Oh, sorry, no, we're gonna do um, Mystify my asthma, lower their movement by D3. We're gonna use two dice. We got it with uh, big numbers. Sure. Okay. Three. Yep. Uh, you know what? You're not playing, I know what you're doing. All right, I'm just gonna go for six dice. Um, uh, Spirit Leech. Hey. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> seven dice it. I'm gonna seven dice it and hope for some sixes. Two sixes, shut that down. All right, we're not assassinating, etc. Uh, nothing to shoot. Uh, so let's do this combat. Uh, impact attacks. You're gonna take five that kill you on twos. Four dead. Then the skinks are the fastest initiative. Oh, I will use fear test first for these guys. They don't fear you. Uh, Skink's got one hit. 
and no wound, and now you're faster than the rest of my stuff. Oh, she no, my Stegatron. He'd be faster, or just as fast. Uh, three hits, or four hits, and he kills four more, but same initiative, but doesn't matter because they're all in third rank. Four. Alright, you get the fight. Uh, two have to swing into the, yep. three have to swing into the second arm. No, this guy can choose because he has to he fight in base contact okay, with, so but the two, two have. are going to swing at the second arm. Yep. Two hits, looking for sixes. Nothing. And the rest on forward. So, ten attacks. Nice, hitting on fours. Wait, no, I hope so, four. Yeah. Well, he hit on threes. Should did that last time. No, there was still three, they suck. Okay. Uh, fours to wound, one outright dead, and one five armor save. Nope, kills two. And then we fight back. Predatory fighter, hitting on fours. And then the rest of the ranks plus the predatory fighters, the, the predatory fighter bonus stacks, I should say. These are wounding on threes now, because we're up to strength five. And that's going to kill three, six, nine. And the rest are going to crumble after the thunder stomp. Yeah, they're just all dead. Okay. So, yeah. Um, interesting. You want to keep going? Uh, no, I, I think it's safe <laughs> to call it. Yep. Uh, we had perfect magic phases. Uh, incredibly, this is... Kenny got really unlucky with the dice. I got super lucky with the dice. So I'm not, we're not going to blame Tomb Kings for this one. Uh, the dice did have a heavy foot on this one. Uh, and those kings held on. Wow. Okay, whatever. That happens sometimes in Warhammer. Um, no big spells, though. We all had, like, level 1 spells. We had no big nuke spells. So that was interesting. That was new and that was different. But uh, Kenny, I'll just play, we'll just play another game. Stay tuned for that next time. What are you going to play next time? Uh, probably Ogres. All right, we're going to get some Ogres going. I'll get something else going. I was going to say, when the Salamanders one-shot that monster, that was dumb. Super dumb. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy War Gaming. Stay tuned for more, I promise. More's coming. Next time I play, it'll be a bunch of monsters against ogres and Kenny. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Happy War Gaming.